will start the pathology. Okay, uh, the strategy about this physio and pathology or microbiology, pharmacology and the statistics is that uh, this, uh, within this range, there are some certain areas that the question frequently come over the time. Around 40 to 50 percent questions you can get uh, if you study focus on that specific box, chart, classification, cause, something like that. Uh, and remain at 30 to uh, around 30 to 40 percent questions you will get on the same theme but in a different or in a complicated way. They will give a broad scenario and you have to read every each word, each and every words of the options to get the what the question has been asked and what are the suitable options that could be. So it might consume much time compared to the anatomy part and other surgical related, surgical related questions where you have a clear cut answer if you understand the questions at first glance. But in physiology, you will see the uh, you have you have to make a core knowledge and the questions will come in various directions so if you try to catch all the angles it will be difficult for you and you will be uh, overheated your heat will be so much hard to uh, to get used to with all the angles so better stick with the core knowledge so you study a box you study a classifications and whatever angle the questions come, he will answer. So it's better to stick with these ones. And that 20, uh, around 10 to 15 percent questions you will get in this physiology, pathology part that it will be very difficult to answer. Even if you have so much put so much time on that physiology anatomy, even if you studied the ba uh, the basic textbooks that we you study in in our undergraduate level even reading that one it will be very difficult to answer that 10 to 15 percent questions so it's better to skip that 10 to 15 percent questions because the effort and time you put to answer that 10 to 15 percent questions with that effort you can distribute to other subjects and there will be a mass chance to achieve uh, more marks this our main target is to pass the part MRCS that's our primary goal so uh, in regard of anatomy and other parts uh, you can have your own preferences book other than this lecture sheets but first of all this lecture sheet is enough what we provide from doctors academy is solely enough for for all everything for basic part and for the surgical part but you have your own interest you can take a look for the anatomy and other part but for the physiology pathology microbiology i highly encourage don't even think about reading a single word beyond this book we provide you don't even think about it so whatever we put on this note it is very concise and it is well it, it was well prepared to accommodate all the necessary knowledge to pass the MRCS part. That is way more than enough. You will find that will be concise. You will be saying, okay, I studied more on this regarding this knowledge on my undergraduate level, but these things are not so important in our MRCS part because all the questions from the other basic parts, physiology, micro, patho, that will be only related to our surgical knowledge.